Good afternoon. Welcome to Shots with Devin, interactive photography lessons on the radio. How do we do that? Well, we tie you to my website, devinshots.com, D-E-V-I-N-S-H-O-T-S.com. You can follow along with the radio show on the website, see the images that we're discussing, and get your questions answered. You'll see links on the website to WTBQ. Follow the link. Click on this week's episode, this week's show. You can see the photos that we're talking about, and you can also send in a question. That's the basis of our show. Every week we have a different co-host. This week we have Katie Weaver. She's at SCCC, Sussex County Community College. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today, Katie. Anytime. You're a graphic. You're studying graphic design in uh, college. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Nice. And I must say, you're a very good photographer. Thank you. Yeah, so I appreciate you coming in today to uh, join us. The first segment of our show, we uh, usually discuss something that has happened to me recently in, in my photography and uh, come up with a way to make a lesson out of it for our listeners. So uh, something happened to me actually today that I want to talk about. <clears throat> the last two days, I've been doing photography at Rhythm and Rhyme Child Care. That's uh, a really excellent child care facility here in Warwick on Ronald Reagan Boulevard. Great staff, very well run facility, and we were taking photos of all the children in there. And it's going to be fun because we're going to take the best images and print them on 12 by 12 or, or larger um, uh, prints, and we're going to make a gallery exhibit right there in the, in the child care center. Okay, cool. Yeah, so when the, when the parents come in, they're going to see this great exhibit of all the kids that are currently in the school. We'll probably be doing that, you know, uh, every couple times every year, uh, keep things updated. And the children had a great time. So today we were shooting, and the uh, staff members were assisting me. They know the children. The children felt comfortable and uh, helped to relax them. So uh, we were working with one child, and I showed one of the images to the um, staff member right off the back of the camera yeah. and um, he looked at the image he goes oh he goes oh you're a real photographer <laughs> I'm like well that's interesting that was a very interesting statement yeah. and uh, what it made me think was yeah there are a lot of people who say they're photographers but not everybody does it well yeah. so Katie tell me um, in your experience you've, you've, uh, you've studied photography in high school mm -hmm. uh, you're a graphic designer you've been dealing with photography and art, I assume, yeah, many right? What is it that gets your attention? When, when, uh, what is it that to you makes a photographer a good photographer? What are some of the things that you look for? Definitely good composition, how the picture is set up, and the angles and lighting that the photographer uses definitely enhance what you're looking at. Folks, this proves that Katie knows what she's talking about. We did not rehearse this question, and it's funny, you said the exact two things that I was going to talk about. <laughs> How cool is that, huh? Yeah. Um, composition and light. Those are the two fundamentals of any form of art, really. Uh, particularly photography. Photography is a light-based medium. You need light to take a photograph. So um, what we're doing with this show is we're trying to help our listeners many of whom are family people, uh, many students, to improve as photographers. And really, those two fundamentals are what separate the men from the boys. Um, for example, there are people who say that they're professional photographers. They've gone to all sorts of school. They have all kinds of letters after their name, mm -hmm. right? And they know how to set up their lights. Mm -hmm. They can set up lighting for any circumstance. And in some cases, they have absolutely no creativity on a compositional level. And they all look on the same picture. Yes. Have you seen that? Yeah. So they, the light is perfect every time, right? Perfectly flat lighting, but they're boring as, as anything, in my yeah. opinion, yeah. right? Then there are other people who are very creative. With and, a creative eye. Right? Mm -hmm. They have, some people have a great creative eye, uh, look at life from a totally different perspective, but have absolutely no concept of light. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that? Yeah. You see these dark, muddy photographs or overexposed, underexposed. It would have been a great photo because the composition was great, but the lighting was terrible. Mm -hmm. So how do you become a great photographer? 
Well, you have to learn how to read the light, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to uh, learn how to create a good composition. Mm -hmm. What do you feel um, helps to make a good composition, Katie? Um, well, the three part, the dividing a picture into three pieces and setting your main subject off to one side and getting on the level of your person instead of looking down on them or up at them. Yep, the yep. That's very good. Uh, you mentioned the rule of thirds. We, have to, we uh, mentioned that recently in another episode. That is an absolute fundamental, mm -hmm. right? If you look at, a, at an image, or if you look through your viewfinder mm -hmm. with your uh, camera, and you divide that viewfinder vertically by thirds or horizontally by thirds. Mm -hmm. For example, if you're doing a uh, sunset shot, right? Mm -hmm. And many people will have the horizon right in the middle of the of this frame, right? And the sun right in the middle. It's almost like there's a set of crosshairs, mm -hmm. right? Is that a good composition? It can be, but it's, it could be better. Yeah. Usually if you raise or lower your camera a little bit and get the horizon on one of those horizontal thirds. It, it sure does. And that's one thing you have, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you uh, put the, the horizon on one of those horizontal thirds, and even the sun, if you get it out of the center and move it from one side to the other on one of those thirds, mm -hmm. now you've got something a little bit more compelling. Mm -hmm. Interesting, right? And then with light, it's the same thing, that you, um, you learn to look at light differently. I, I remember when I was uh, getting started, I interned with the man who did my wedding photography. Uh, this, this person takes absolutely gorgeous photos, and he's definitely the style that I aspired to be. Mm -hmm. And so when I uh, started changing from doing photography as a hobby and going into a professional approach to it, I interned with him for a while. And he taught me, he said, uh, now that you've spent some time studying light, you will never look at the world the same. Mm -hmm. Have you experienced that? I think so, yeah. Definitely, you look at shadows as more than shapes, and the colors within a shadow, and yeah. you can see that there's more depth than just a shadow. Exactly. Uh, my wife and I, when we're driving, we'll see, uh, you know, either in the morning or in the evening, you can see the light kind of dusting across, catching the high points on the terrain. Mm -hmm. You ever notice that? Yeah. And you can just kind of see how it's kissing the, the terrain, or if, uh, if an area is backlit. We notice that now more as we have become interested in photography. And that's one of the lessons that we want to put out to our listeners is learn to read the light. Look at where the light is coming from. Be aware of it. Be aware of it. Be aware of what you're looking at. Yes, because that's an absolute fundamental of photography. Light and what? The rule Yes, composition. So, uh, so thank you to the uh, staff member at Rhythm and Rhyme who said I was a real photographer. That made me feel good. <laughs> and um, to our listeners, just remember those two basics. Study them. Study composition, study light. Look at the paintings of the masters. Um, I like to look at some of the Dutch uh, painters in particular. I like their style. I like the way they use light. Uh, very subtle in many cases. Single light source. If you look at some of those paintings and you see the light is coming from a very clear direction. Yeah. It's just a single light source. And I like to compose my photographs similarly. So that was our first segment, Katie. We're going to take a short break, allow uh, our sponsors to do their thing, and then we'll come back.